This is the brand new ROG Phone 3. In this generation, they are going to bring a lot of software improvements instead of the hardware side. Yes, the spec of it is similar to the last year. Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus, 16 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM, a massive 6000 mAh battery with 30 watt fast charging. Well, I'm sure there's no need to keep going because you know, it's the ROG phone, and the spec of it must be the best. So let's talk about the performance. In order to gain the best performance, ASUS reinforced the cooling system. They add several layers to spread out the heat, and the part underneath this glass is the big heat sink. It's kind of cool. And to let you feel fast, they use the 144Hz AMOLED display. ASUS claims they optimize the screen a lot. Not only they shorten the latency of the screen to the shortest in the industry, but also the response time is just one millisecond. And on the software side, ASUS optimize the system a lot. The animations are much smoother than before. There are more charging options which can extend battery life cycle. So, how about gaming? Well, the air trigger got updated. Not only you can touch and press it, but now you can swipe to control. You can play mobile games like a Wii controller using the shaking feature as well. Although no one likes to be disturbed while gaming, you still can use the floating window to reply message or even look for game strategy. However, playing games for a long hours are not good for battery life. The 6000 mAh battery may be good enough, but it still can be better. So ASUS adds several battery options. You can switch in X mode for extreme performance or regular mode for better battery life. You can set scheduled charging and slow charging to extend your battery life cycle. But you might wonder, how about the accessories? Well, most of the accessories are still can be used in RG Phone 3. The accessories have been upgraded such as gamepad, error cooler, and the shining cover. So that's the overall specs of RG Phone 3. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe into box. See you later and be safe. This is the new Phone 3 LG Phone 3. This has brought many different aspects of the device, and still has the most powerful screen with the same screen. Gaotong 865 Plus, 16GB LPDDR5 RAM, 512GB UFS 3.1 storage, and the large 6000mAh battery. I won't say much more, because this is the LG Phone. So, let's talk about what the LG Phone has changed. First, let's talk about its performance. To make the player have a good experience of playing the game, the LG Phone has improved the LG Phone's three systems, and added more different design features to help the device be warm. The floor below even has a big chunk of the LG Phone's three systems. 加了更多层的散热装置，帮助设备散热，已将865 Plus 与5 G 芯片的热导出来，再透过风扇吹掉。再者，为了让你觉得快，屏幕又提升至了一百四十四赫兹。华硕宣称他们对系统做了更多的追加化，让触碰延迟降到了业界最低。而我体验时觉得最有感的是系统动画更加流畅，转场也不会卡，再搭配一百四十四赫兹的更新率更是爽快。而之前广受好评的 Air Triggers 也增加了新功能，从原本的点按按压，又新增了滑动的操作，以及你可以像玩 Wii 一样，透过晃动手机来换子弹，或是跳跃等骚操作。那音效部分也有所提升 ，With Direct 合作，为玩家带来更好的音响的提高听音辨位的准度。好，那么软体部分除了最佳化还有什么呢？首先是加入了游戏中的浮动视窗，可以在游戏时查攻略或是回讯息。那虽说有着六千毫安时的超大电池的可挥霍，但华硕还是为其加入了电池保养功能，和提升电池寿命，以及华硕说运用了声音心理学来提升重低音的神奇功能。各位就运用你的想象力脑补一下吧。而由于这代手机的三维与上代差不多，所以多数的 RG 配件都可以沿用。不过新款的配件功能还是比较齐全，如更好握的 Gamepad， 散得更好且可立起手机的三的风扇，以及超度更高的炫光保护壳。那么之后的详细评测，就在请你们关注我们，以在第一时间获取资讯哦。邀请您订阅、按赞、Enter Box， 我是阿汤，我们下期再见，拜拜。